me tell you a little bit about who I am. I started out as a registered nurse more than 20 years ago. And I grew up in Taiwan, and my dad is a medical doctor. He's an OBGYN. And I grew up in a family with four generations of doctors and nurses. So I feel like I'm destined to be a nurturer. And you know, all my family members are <coughs> professional nurturers. And just like all of you, you are principals. You are um, in a nurturing roles, and you are taking care of other people, um, and which is a really important role. Um, when I, I remember when I was little, my dad, he, he has this really high work ethic, and I'm sure you can probably all relate to this, or you were told when, when you were little, that you have to work really hard, and always strive for excellence. And always, you know, you cannot rest or apply until all work is done. Ever heard of that? <laughs> How many of you have told your kids the same thing? <laughs> Uh, I have two kids myself, you know, as, and I can relate to that. And I remember having this conversation with my dad so many times, <coughs> ever since I was in preschool. And I, you know, it's always about, okay, he wants, it's like, his life is like all work and no play. And I, I subscribe to the motto of, of work hard and play hard. And of course, it doesn't sit very well with my dad, which is, you know, who is a very conservative uh, guy. But, but I remember being little and seeing how he, I mean, he really cares so much about his patients, he and both he and my mom. Um, they work together, my mom is a registered nurse. So I see them day in and day out taking care of the patients and, and sometimes at the cost of his own well-being. You know, he would skip meals and he would, he doesn't really take vacations that much at all. He was 24-7. As the OBGYN, you know, he has his own office. So it kind of comes with the territory. You know, he will be waking up in the middle of the night to deliver a baby, and um, whoever calls him, he will, he will, you know, sometimes he will even make house calls. Yes, this was many years ago. <coughs> he will still make house calls. <coughs> so I see them, how they really, um, they are dedicated to their patients, and, and they are really, all, all his patients love him. But, at the same time, as, as a little child, I, I kept wondering, okay, isn't there supposed to be fun time and relaxation sometimes? You know, how about family time? You know, how about, you know, he will promise us to take us somewhere to, um, to a park or somewhere to, to play, and then patients will come in and he will just, you know, go to take care of the patients again. <coughs> um, so I remember thinking, okay, isn't there supposed to be some kind of balance. And I think back then, you know, a little seed was planted in my mind that, you know, I think there, there should be some kind of balance in our lives. It's not just all about work. It's not all just all about taking care of other people. You know, there, there have to be some kind of balance about, you know, taking care of us, taking care of ourselves, and taking care of our, our families, you know, who taking care of those who really um, matter to us in the long run. So fast forward to um, after I, I left nursing, I went to um, counseling, and then I uh, decided to stay home for a few years. I, would, I had a home-based business. And this was my husband and I moved to Texas because of his job. And so we didn't know anyone. I have two kids. My son was maybe nine months old, my daughter is like almost three, and I was still nursing him, bless you. And um, so, didn't know anyone, our families are in Taiwan and New York and you know, um, hundreds of thousands of miles away. So I was it, right? I was the one who has to take care of the baby and try to build my business and take care of all the housework you know, my husband does help, you know, he's really helpful, but, but still, I'm, I'm pretty much it. And so, remember the first winter we were there, both kids came down with bronchitis. And if you have little kids before, you know, I'm sure you, you all have little kids at school or at home, and you know it's not fun to take care of little kids when they get sick. And 
and having no support at all, you know, I was the only one. So, so anyway, they were like, of course, being a good mother, you know, and we all have these concepts about what's, what um, qualify you as a good mother. I took my kids to the pediatrician right away and, you know, got a prescription, got a diagnosis, and of course, take care of them day and night. And they got better very quickly, and meanwhile, I was feeling worse and worse. And I didn't really pay attention because I was so focused on taking care of them. And then I didn't notice that I, was, I started to cough. I started to have all the symptoms they had. And, and you probably would not believe this, but I ended up coughing for a month until my body finally you know, recovered on its own. And then it finally dawned on me, duh. Rina, you have bronchitis. <laughs> and did I mention that I was a nurse myself? <laughs> How did I even miss that? You know, it's, it's like, duh, you know, you, you, you don't even pay attention to uh, what's going on. And, and I found that, you know, that's, that's really a big lesson for me. You know, it's, it's like, I've, I've got to learn how to take better care of myself if I want to be a good mother, a good wife, and try to be a good businesswoman at the same time. Because think about it, when I think back, that one month when I was sick, when my children were sick, I really didn't do much business at all. Because, you know, obviously I was so overwhelmed that I, I couldn't even take care of myself. So that's kind of where, um, when I came into um, coaching training and I got my certification in life coaching, I decided to choose to focus on helping other women nurturers to take better care of themselves and to tell, teach them how to manage stress and how to create a kind of balance that really works for them. 